Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Crisis on Infinite Earths. Today we're going to be talking about some final leaks. All of this is coming from Canada Graphs, so check out his blog post, which will be in the link in the description below. Also, please be sure to check out his Twitter, so you get regular updates of behind the scenes stuff on these shows. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year as we head towards Crisis. We should be getting the first trailer in about, I would say, two to three weeks because Crisis is coming in about roughly seven weeks or so. You know, sometime, you know, early December, that's when it's going to be. You know, right at the end of the mid-season, basically, for all of these shows. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the massive fight scene that they did, and we got some massive spoilers in this. So, please be sure to click away right now if you don't want to be spoiled. But there is a big spoiler towards the end of this video we're going to talk about. Okay, so let's go through Canada Graphs' blog, then we'll go over the photos and talk about everything that happened on the set. Okay, so this is how it goes. So on this two-day shoot over three days, the crew of Legends of Tomorrow shot scenes with a massive cast of stunt people in one day. And the cast in another parking lot next to an area very close by. You may recognise it as it's also the place where the original Legends of Tomorrow team first met on the Wave Rider. So, you know, when they were out in the car park and they saw the Wave Rider, that's where it is. So, it's fitting that a new group of superheroes would be there for one of the most epic battles in the Arrowverse's history on the Legends portion of the crossover. On the first day, the crew had various stunt actors working to shoot some scenes. The scenes they shot were of the stunt teams in a battle sequence with the main big bad of Crisis, the Anti-Monitor. This was the first in-person look anyone had at the Anti-Monitor on set. In the battle was The Flash, Superman, Supergirl, White Canary, Black Canary, Spartan, Batwoman, Alex Danvers, Dreamer, and Wild Dog facing off against the Anti-Monitor. At various points, they did takes where the team would rush at their nemesis before eventually being thwarted with a punch to the ground by the Anti-Monitor. And so, we talked about that the other day, Themyscira Bound got photos for that, and there was actually a video she posted when the Anti-Monitor smacks the ground, and they all go flying in the air. That's why they had the stunt team there, mainly. So, let's just quickly break this little bit down. So, essentially, what this is talking about is the scenes we saw the other day. Themyscira Bound posted a couple of days ago. And so, they are shooting this massive scene, this massive battle scene, but it's all the stunt doubles. None of the actors are there, as far as I'm concerned, like, as far as I know. So, they did this on one of the days. And then, now let's move on to the next bit, because for the second day, the crew was working with the real actors who do the speaking portions of the characters and a few stunt people as well. So on set for day two was Grant Gustin as The Flash, Melissa Benoist as Supergirl, Tyler Hoechlin as Superman, Katie Lotz as White Canary, David Ramsey as Spartan, David Harewood as Martian Manhunter, Kyla Lee as Alex Danvers and Nicole Maines as Dreamer. Also on set was Brandon Ralph, but he never saw him working but there was a stand-in for the Atom earlier in the day, so we don't know if he shot any scenes, or if it was just from like a specific take of an angle. And so others who may have been on set, but their doubles were also seen taking some of the scenes in the shot, was LaMonica Garrett as the Anti-Monitor, Ruby Rose as Batwoman, Rick Gonzalez as Wild Dog, and Juliana Harkavy as Black Canary. I do believe LaMonica actually showed up, as far as I know. And so, let's move on to talk about more of this blog. So they were still doing the same scene as the other day, the superhero gang still taking on the Anti-Monitor, but this time with simulated reactions and actions to dialogue. At one point, the only portion of dialogue, and this is the massive spoiler for you guys, I could sort of hear throughout the day was White Canary moves closer to the Anti-Monitor with the rest of the team behind her and says something to the Anti-Monitor that ends in her muttering, For Oliver. Then the whole team in unison behind the chant for Oliver before commencing their all-out attack. So this is some massive stuff. This was the big spoiler I was talking about. It does seem like Oliver's gonna die. Seems like this is a potential confirmation, a potential reveal that, yeah, something has happened to Oliver as the Monitor has told him obviously many times. And it seems like Destiny has gone in that way and it doesn't seem like the Flash and Supergirl have gone away like they do in the comics and like the Flash 
obviously on the TV show, they're trying to prevent him from going missing or dying in crisis like he sees in the future a couple episodes ago. So it seems like they're safe for now unless they've shot some other indoor scenes. However, it seems like Oliver, something has happened to him, he's either dead, he's vanished, or he's with Felicity wherever the monitor put Felicity at the end of last season. So, big spoiler right there, but super, super interesting. So let's move on to talk about some of the photos. So I've got a range of photos. We've got 10 photos right here for today's video to talk about. And so let's go ahead and start breaking them down. So the first photo here, you can see there is a few stunt doubles. Like, that's not Juliana Harkavy who plays Black Canary. That's her stunt double. Also, that's not Ruby Rose's Batwoman. That's her stunt double. She kind of looks very similar though, so it's kind of hard to tell. But then in this photo, and I really like this photo, and I have to say, I think Canada Graphs has got some great photos this time. Like, I think this is some of his best photography work capturing these photos for us on the set. It's really, really high quality and really good, so big thumbs up for that. So we have Katie Lotz there. She's White Canary. So they're all standing together in this sort of line, and it seems like the Flash and Supergirl in all, most of these photos are, like, really close together. So it seems like they are the ones charging and leading the battle with White Canary. So they are the center figures. Just gotta say, oh man, I love these new suits. Like, I think they look really good, especially from this angle. Grant's suit looks really, really good, especially on his, you know, chin strap, his head. Because sometimes when you get photos of him straight up, it kind of looks a bit weird when it's face on because the ears poke out so far. But from this angle, I think it looks really good. Obviously, Supergirl suit. You guys know I'm a massive fan of it. I think it looks great. And you got Diggle. You got Nia. You got Wild Dog. You got Black Canary as well. So, yeah. Love this photo. Let's move on to the next one. This is a behind-the-scenes photo. They are smirking. They are giggling. You can see Melissa giggling with Grant. As we've seen many times in this crossover with the leaks. We got John in the shot as well. He's in his Martian Manhunter gear. He's talking to Batwoman stunt double. So they're just hanging around between takes. And then this is really interesting because this is a big confrontation. This is obviously some speech because they got the boom mic right over the anti monitor. And it seems like this is going to be some shot reverse shot. So you got the anti monitor over there. You can see him in the distance. He doesn't have his full suit on, which is very interesting. Unless. You know, maybe they weren't shooting him. Maybe they are just shooting, you know, our heroes, it seems like. He's there, he's with all the other heroes in front of him, and so, yeah. What is happening is this is a confrontation between them all. You see Superman's there, Alex, Batwoman, Martian Manhunter, White Canary, Supergirl, The Flash, Spartan, Wild Dog, Nia, and Black Canary. They're all there, they're all in a very confrontational pose they've all got like their fists clenched and so this is a big scene where we've got them confronting them and this is the dialogue portion you know not the action portion then we move on to the next photo so you can clearly see the monica garrett's suit his normal suit of the anti-monitor is a bit different and i think that is only because he's actually not shooting maybe the other stuff is a bit heavy to put on but it could be a new look, I guess. I mean, it looks kind of interesting. Maybe this is him when he's, you know, sort of not prepared. But I do think it's just because he's not, you know, actually on camera. So here we got Superman, we've got Alex, we've got Batwoman. We've got them all just in between takes. And moving on to the next photo, another great photo. Like, I gotta say, man, like, these photos are really good quality. So we've got lights shining on them got Superman and Alex together maybe they're gonna have like a big thing in this crossover where they're together a lot that would be very very exciting to me like I said Melissa and Grant always together like they are having the time of their lives it seems like in all of these photos so they're just chatting and then they snap into action in the same space we got Superman and Alex Alex is pulling out her gun so she's trying to shoot the anti monitor which I find a little bit funny and I know some people found it funny on set when she's like pretending to shoot him. And we got Batwoman, Supergirl, Martian Manhunter, White Canary. They're all again in this confrontational pose, just from a different angle. We got this other shot. So they're all there, all lined up in their superhero places. And then we move on to the next photo. So the anti monitor has got everything back on. So I do believe he's on camera right now. I think this is 
you know, obviously it's between a take because I don't think Diggle's ready. There's a dude behind him, one of the crew members, but they are setting up for the shot. Alex is there, Diggle's there, the anti-monitor is in his full suit. And then we move on to the last photo. This is really cool. They are all running in, they are all going to attack, and this looks so good. They are all there, charging. Also, there's a tennis ball, which is very interesting, so that normally signifies in a film set or a TV set. There is going to be some CGI being used. They follow the tennis ball, so I'm not sure what that actually means. But apart from that, that's about it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe as we try and reach 100,000 subscribers. YouTube's doing this weird thing at the moment where it's taking away subscribers from loads of channels. So if you could share the video around, that would mean a hell of a lot to me as we try and reach that goal. We should be getting there very, very soon. And also get ready for Crisis. I do believe the trailer is going to come in the next two to three weeks, so be on the lookout. Also, we'll have some promotional photos, maybe a big poster in the next week or so. So get excited for that, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.